Hey guys, welcome back to more Defeatable. Here's another Mewtwo episode because I had so many replays backed up for this guy. He gets two episodes. And I'm literally recording this off the same record session because why not? Anyway, in this series, I show you my replays because showing you online matches would be extremely difficult and like annoying. So I'm just like, yeah, I might as well just show the replays because it's easy that way. And yeah, like I hope it. I, I hope Nintendo improves their online. Like they've done some improvements, which fix it. But like, ew, like week one was kind of. Anyway, this is Cinnamon is really good, and you're going. You're only gonna be seeing Cinnamon versus Mewtwo for the next couple fights. So right away, you want to do a grab if Cinnamon lands the revenge. Like, that's why I learned anyway, like, Incineroar's Revenge will stay unless it gets a certain amount of damage. Like, I believe it's 30. Ooh! Like, Incineroar lands 30 damage, or... Ooh, dead. <laughs> Incineroar lands 30 damage, or gets grabbed and thrown, then the revenge goes away. Which is a nice, like, thing, because, you know... Grab beats counter, so like it makes kind of sense for that to make it go away. Plus, you can like do stupid stuff with revenge. Like, I remember I landed revenge and hit like what was it? What did that guy land? I think I re I revenged a smash attack, and it killed the guy when I did my smash attack on him. And I was like, whoa! I did a lot of damage. Like, I was not expecting that. But I say it's fair, because Incineroar has a poopy re recovery, so like, it makes it up. He's the little Mac of this game, except instead of like, you know, being super fast and strong, he's just strong. I wish this Incineroar was faster. Also, I'm trying to land some combos. So that's why I did the neutral air. That's a good combo hitter. Dead. <laughs> Like, he, he wanted to use a revenge to try to get, get the comeback, but it's like, nah, I think I'll just wait for you to not do it and kill you. <laughs> Next fight. Three, two, now we're in the Paper Mario stage. Go! Why Paper Mario wasn't a character is beyond me. Ugh. Also, if I'm burping a lot, sorry, I, I, I ate a lot today. Like, before dinner, I went to Ice Age, which is like this ice cream frozen yogurt place. I basically stuffed myself. What? Well, I stuffed myself on free samples because like they let, they let you do that. I had some like cookies and cream for I had dinner and, and then dinner I had hot dogs and it's like, yeah, I ate a lot. Ha! Oops! Nope. <laughs> Wasn't close enough. I'm seeing what he's doing because now I know to this might kill, this might kill. Nope, not enough. Okay, it might kill the second room. But like I I ate a lot of frozen yogurt and I had hot dogs and then I drank lots of juice and it's like Yeah, I should really stop eating before my record session, but I record for like an hour usually. So it's like Ugh, either be hungry for an hour or eat, and then burp all over my video content, which really, I guess, adds character. Ooh, I, I, I was hoping he would have shield. I kind of gave a big damage for that. Wow, that connected. Wow, that, that didn't kill either? Like, that's good, do it. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna say this. I love all of the Cinderworth colors, even the big, the cat one. Like, seriously. That was that, that was intentional. Ha! I knew what you were doing there, buddy. It. Go for some combos, are ya? You know something I wanted? Like, I probably said this before, but like, I really wanted a low-end Pokemon trainer. Wow! 
The part where he bounced up dies the Shadow Ball. I should charge that one. Oh, uh, dang it, he slipped through. This might kill him. Dead. Bird time to charge. But yeah, like, I wanted a low-end Pokemon trainer. Like, I actually made up a buttload of ideas for it. The, the, the basic idea is Incineroar, Primarina, and then Decidueye. Which I actually find funny that Sakurai stated a bit ago. That, like, hey, he wanted to, he wanted to have a Sun and Moon Pokemon. It wasn't entirely going to be Incineroar. It could have been Decidueye. But he went with the Wrestler. And then, like... My other idea was a six-man Pokemon trainer, and I feel like Pokemon's the only one that got away with this. This might be... no, wait, he's still alive. Not enough to kill, even at Rage. But like, the highest Pokemon I hear from Sun and Moon that could work in Smash, that's they kill. Boom. But let's see. It's Lycan Rock, preferably Dusk Form, the free I said. Then it's one of the Ultra Beasts. I hear a lot from the one that's like look like looks like a girl and the muscle bug. Then I hear a lot for the What do you call it? Pokemon? It's like a dragon, but it has like bell scales? Like I can't remember it. But, like, that got a lot of hype. Mimikyu got a lot of hype. And, like, I feel like the free starters, plus Toppy Coco for Lightning, Mimikyu, and Lycanroc, Rock would, could have been, like, a good six-man Pokemon trainer, Echo Fighter, Sigma Jigger. Anyway, next fight. Okay, we're back. Now, I was talking about Pokemon trainer, Echo Fighter. Wow, this stage has... A very beautiful sunset, especially on Incineroar, because, like, he has his fire belt. But, like, as I was saying, like, I just feel like we could have gotten the low in Pokemon Trainer, and I feel like a lot of people would have been more happy with that instead of just Incineroar. I mean, I love Incineroar, but Incineroar kind of gets the... Not a bad rep, but, like, that do 40 damage. What percent was I at? No, I was, like, 18. It's, like, 30. That move's good. It has, like, knockback and damage output. Hey, you didn't land the second part. Grab? Nope. But yeah, like... Incineroar... <sighs> in my opinion... Is up there. Like, they could have chose the Panda Pokemon or the Woodpecker Pokemon. Which, not saying they're bad, but, like, Incineroar makes sense. He's a wrestler. And yeah, you could say, well, we have strong heavyweights in Smash, and the, the sword doesn't really add anything. Well, we don't have a precise wrestler, plus we have another cat thanks to Incineroar. I mean, Mewtwo's a cat, but like, you know, he's more a cat than, than Mewtwo. Like, you look at Mewtwo, and you're like, so, are those things on the top of his head ears or something? Like, people say Mewtwo's a cat-looking Pokemon because Mew's a cat-looking Pokemon and Mewtwo's a clone of Mew, so it's like, hmm, interesting. They should, they should call this, like, sub subname cat fight. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, when I started Sun and Moon, ugh, when I started Sun and Moon, I had a tough choice because it was like, oh, uh, do I choose Incineroar or Decidueye? Because I like both. Back then I was like, eh, Primarina can hit or miss. Wow, nice move on the confusion. Yeah, like... Ooh, wow, that was nice. Man, I am doing great on the punishing the revenge thing. Like... I'm surprised I was man. So far I've been managing to stop that revenge every time he gets it. Also, I don't know if he's doing this on purpose, but like, is he purposely taking the damage so he doesn't get hit hard with the shield break? Because every time I... Wow, that killed him. Okay. Every time I manage to like, whittle his shield that low, he always takes the hit. Unless he's trying to parry. 
I don't know. Anyway, next fight. More Incineroar. We fought in the Har Halberd. Halberd? Whatever. The, the Mennonite chip. And now we're in Mario Kart. I believe this is from Wii? No, it's not from 8. Ugh. This track was on Brawl, so it had to be from Mario Kart Wii, right? Mario Circuit? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, like... Hang on, I forgot what I could say. I was talking about Mewtwo being a cat, and I was talking about, about Incineroar. Like, I like Incineroar! Oh yeah, Sun and Moon Playfruit. Uh... Ugh. Ugh. Like, Incineroar was my second choice when I did another playthrough. And let me tell you, Incineroar is deadly in some Moon playthrough. Like, he gets the job done with him being part dark. Oh, I'm trying to punish. But I failed! Ugh! That ice cream was so tired. Dead? Nope, not enough. Yeah, like, I remember my team. Dead! <laughs> wow! I am landing these, like, fusions like a genius. But, like, what I'm trying to say is... What? What was my team? I'm trying to remember. It was... It was the Sijuai, the bird... Which I called Pearl. I know the bird. Then it was, uh... Torkoal? Greninja, because I played the demo. A Pikachu. Then I evolved into a Raichu. But, like, I, 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 oh, I like the... I kept this Pikachu as long as possible. <laughs> what else was on my I got a Mimikyu. Good god, that Mimikyu took forever to catch. Also, sheesh, when did I die like a second time? Because, like, this Cinemore still has two stocks. I get the cool kill, but, like, was it worth it? Okay, now we're tied, but, like. <laughs> Oh man, this Incineroar is going hard in this match! Ooh! Man, he wants to win this! Again, this cat fight's crazy! <laughs> Ooh! Man, this guy... Funny enough, I think Dark-type gets beaten up by Psychic, but like... Now I'm smashing! <laughs> Doesn't matter! <laughs> uh... Death Death! Hey, at least I died cool. <laughs> but, yeah, like... I don't even, like, I don't, like, I was talking so much I didn't even realize I died twice. <laughs> That's why I love that pose. Okay, now we're in the, the Metopia stage. Funny enough, I still have my Miis that got married. I, I, I was very curious about this game, because I heard everyone talking about it, and Nintendo was like hyping this game up, and I'm like, ooh! But it's weird, because this game is like... less inactive Animal Crossing. It's, the, it's basically like The Sims, but like, Sims free. Because like... <sighs> who could give the Miis voices and stuff? But, like, the Miis flat out... Oh yeah, I forgot you can charge me there now. The, the Miis voices can vary. Ow. <laughs> I mean, you see that carnival in the background? Your Miis can go on dates and hang out there. But, like, you can't, like, choose a me to be you and then play minigames. You can't just... You cannot just make me's and see who they become friends with. Which is weird because, like, it's cool that your me's can get married and be friends. But, like, uh. I don't have that much. Ow! Ugh. Replay value. Also, my computer is running low on battery, so hang on a second. I'm 
Nice punish. Ooh, nice return punish. <laughs> That's built up Nintendo Land music. Like, it fits the stage, but like, all I can think of is like, when I was like getting into the Wii U, I had to just play Nintendo Land for the longest time. I'll tell you what, the Wii U had good ideas, but like, not enough games. Like, what, I, what did I own for the Wii U that I actively kept getting? Like, Smash, Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 gave me Mario and Lu no, Mario and Luigi. It gave me, what is it? <sighs> Mario, Mario, Super Mario Brothers, new, new Super Mario Brothers U. And by the way, ooh, <laughs> that was a deadly hit. I'm not getting new Super Mario, oh, that was lucky. I'm not getting Lux. Why? Because it's dumb. It's a waste of money. It's 60 bucks. It's the same game except Toadette. And like, it's not even like they're gonna bring the Peachette stuff back. I mean, they could. <laughs> what was that? That was funny. Like, he was trying to get like the little taps me was doing. I wanted to run into me because like he was gonna. He looked like he was running up the side B. We're really tied right now. What if this? I'm a light character. Gotcha. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Okay. Mess it up. There's like a there's a, there's a way to like always get the perfect version of that move. Like I see people like purposely get the bad version to do like cool kills. Wow, that killed him. Okay. Like, I was gonna go into a big thing about, like, where you can, like, use other characters, like, dumb things to, like, land hits. But hey, next fight! Okay, now we're on, uh, the new Super Mario U stage. Funny enough, I was talking about how sucky that game is. I will never buy it. If Nintendo ever gives me that game for free, then I'll play it, but I'm not doing another playthrough. I had to play for it because I was like very, very bored. I'm sorry, but like, I do not like the new Super Mario Brothers games. The first one's good, but they kind of just didn't get that creative except for the power ups, ironically. Ooh. <sighs> Oof, man, I gotta stop eating ice cream before I do these because I'm getting really sleepy. This is the help that, like, for me, it's like, what, four o'clock? So it's like, really five? Ugh. Ooh, okay, okay. He, he spot dodged like a little too early. Though, I don't think it would be wise to spot dodge that move. He should, he should have shielded. Wow, that almost hit him. Like, I'm surprised it didn't. Ow! <laughs> I literally slapped myself because my eyes were drooping. <laughs> oh, if this is Kirby Star Allies, I'd probably be wide awake, but it's like... I'm just doing some commentary! And like, hey, it has to be done! I had so much Mewtwo backed up! Like, it was ridiculous. <sighs> we got nothing to do, it's good to like, get all of those videos done. My family is like over again, so I had to like scramble to make these two videos. <laughs> Normally I start recording at six, but like I had to eat like like nothing and then like get my recording equipment set up just so I could be like, okay, let's make a video because well I don't know, family's gonna come over and they're gonna be too loud for me to properly record. Ooh! I should've waited a little bit second. Dang it! <laughs> that was a nice kill setup. I probably could have got something like that. That killed? Wow. 
Like, I feel like I say, I say that every Mewtwo fight. That killed? Like, Mewtwo has surprise kills in this game. Like, they made him way stronger than he was in Wii U. Okay, guys, last fight. Wow, this is super fitting. Was I playing at night during these? Because, like, I was playing Smash, and, like, it varies, because, like, sometimes when I hop on the stage, it does keep track of your real life time. So, like, there, w there will be times where, like, it's like, hey, you, you're playing at 10 o'clock at night? It's dead of night. So I'm quite curious of, like, ooh, that, that was a nice kill. Okay, this is the city folk. Like, city folk, you see the city, and then, like, Smash Bill, you just stay in the Animal Crossing town. Yeah, I was recording at night, because, like, I don't record during the day unless it's, like, summer break, because, like, little Timmy is, like, probably doing his homework at night and not being at school. Like, you, like... Like, word of advice, oh, it's sort of smashed into that <laughs> poor building, but like, word of advice, never play Smash at 12 o'clock during the day. Like, people in Japan probably have it so rough because, like, for them, midnight for them is like lunchtime for us. But like, don't ever play, you know, in your time region. Try not to play at lunch, because, like, I want to say 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock is a great time to be playing Smash, because you will fight people that are at your skill level. Like, I always try to aim to 3 o'clock nowadays. Back when Smash came out, I definitely chose, like, times, like, hey, you know, I think 12 and 10 are good. Which are good for like, when people have vacation off, but like, now that everyone's going back to school, it's like, <laughs> yeah, no! I'm not fighting these crazy pros that play Melee for 80 hours every day. Even that's not really time. You know what I mean? Like, people are crazy with Smash. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna just fight a bunch of crazy, super powerful players. I'm gonna try and fight people my own. Yeah. Oh dang it! I could have grabbed him. Yeah, I'm gonna fight players my own skill level. Also, you know what? I'm upset. We didn't get like a new Pokemon stage. Like, seriously, no Sun and Moon stage, no no like Professor Kuei's lab, or like I don't know the Ultra Beast dimension. Wow, that connected. Okay. This is going to be a close fight. I was probably going to go for, like, the side B. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Nope. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to punish him, but, like... And death! Nope. Okay. See, he's gonna win this. It, it, it depends on a few factors. Like, what he does, and like, what my damage is. Cause like, a lot of his stuff could kill me! Like that! <laughs> okay, well that was the last... <laughs> that was the last fight I had in this guy before he left. So like, <laughs> remember guys, like, share, subscribe, press the notify, and I'll see you guys next time with more Smash Butter Ultimate content. Bye.